and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from June 13th to June 20th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Leo content is uploaded. Leo content comes out every single Tuesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. Also down there is all my social media contacts. And on all of those social media platforms, in addition to getting it here in the Daily Energy Read, up on YouTube is, uh, a, is a bunch of posts that happen every day. They're, they're specifically designed so that they are posted before most people are up and moving for their day. So you can start your day seeing what the various energy readings are. And you can get them in short little you know, snippets and videos, or you can watch them all put together here on YouTube. So let's jump in to the little bit of astrology that I am going to do, because we do have some major transits again happening this week. The universe started last week with that throw in hands, and is continuing it today. Starting with the 14th, moon in Taurus, fourth quarter moon. So... Spend time being mindful, going with the flow, and surrendering to the world around you. Fourth quarter moon, okay? It's in Taurus, and it's square Mars and Leo. So you're going to feel this particularly strong, okay? You're going to find out the day before what the blockage has been in your life, where the holdup has been. Why is this not happening? Who is creating this problem? What is this problem? you know what's creating the problem what is the circumstances how do i make this problem go away and you're going to figure out what that is and it's going to make you want to go swing on somebody you're going to be feeling that because you're annoyed and you're feeling this tension and you're just like mm, well don't make me right but that's not the right energy to be in you've got to breathe through you got to focus on finding the right words to work through the problem don't lash out on people don't blow up when you lose your temper with somebody, especially if you didn't expect to lose your temper, you give them your power because you show them where your buttons are. If you're an iceberg, people can't figure out where those buttons are. It makes them real frustrated and it gets kind of funny. Now, on the 15th, Mercury in Gemini square Saturn in Pisces. Focus is going to be real tough on this day. You're going to need to make sure that you're leaving time for your brain to run around. Because especially since there's a void, of course, in the moon happening at 9.36 p.m. And then at 9.46 p.m., that moon is going to be in Gemini. All right? So those two energies are going to be very compatible. Your brain's going to move really quick. Your emotions are going to move quick. And you're going to want to talk about them. The next problematic day is the 17th. Mercury in Gemini, sextile Venus in Leo, Saturn retrograde in the Pisces. That's really the big news of the day. Saturn retrograde is about karma. It's about what was happening with those eclipses that the universe came in and started jacking people up because everybody had that over the last few months. The universe just came in and started swinging on people, punching people right in the mouth. Stuff that's been, been okay for a really long time, pfft, guess what never was and you know, body blows i mean it, it has been brutal and it's coming back for another round <laughs> on the 17th karma is absolutely in play you're gonna need to release do not worry about what that karma is release so that you can focus because release is the focus it's about letting go of anything that it shouldn't be and with that mercury and gemini you're gonna want to talk about it and with that being compatible with Venus, it's going to be one to talk about the home, one to talk about the emotions, one to talk about the anger, the frustration, the, all of that. It's all going to want to come out. On the 18th, we have at 12.37 a.m. a new moon in Gemini. 
A void, of course, moon at 2.24 p.m. And at 6.58 a.m., that moon enters into Cancer. It is also Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to any of the Leo daddies out there who might be watching. The sun is going to be in Gemini. Square Neptune in Pisces. Careful today of being manipulated. That moon in Cancer is going to make you sensitive to other people's wants and needs. And the rest of the energy is going on there. It's going to mean that, you know, Neptune in Pisces, that's basically delusion mint center. With it being square the sun, it's going to be like, this doesn't make any sense. What you're asking me for feels like manipulation, especially with that new moon. New moons is the start of new projects and phases in your life. It is a great time to gather your thoughts and plan for the months ahead. Not take action. Plan. You're talking. You're thinking. The next two days after that are actually quite good. You know, new opportunities may be coming your, in, coming your way for work you've already put in. That's when you actually get the justice for those things on the 19th, which is the celebration always also of Juneteenth. And then, you know, the day after, you're going to want to enjoy yourself. So you should, especially if new opportunities came in. Make sure you make time to celebrate. Leo, June 13th through the 20th. Leo, June 13th to 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 the 20th. Okay. Okay. So, I will clarify all these cards. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope the message resonates with you. If you're a new viewer, I will clarify all these cards, but before I do, past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You are either walking up to someone and talking, or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Also on this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. I'm going to describe the energy of a person. You're going to put it on the person that sounds like that energy in your life and then that's the relationship that we're referring to. So it can be literally anyone. So Libra energy there with the justice card. It could be about contracts, documents, could be literally the court system. They could um, be in the court system or they could work for the court system. Four of Pentacles, trying to hold on to something. It's also a card of balance. It could be a Libra trying to really hold on though. Or someone could be trying to desperately to hold on to balance or a contract, a document, a marriage. Uh, Hierophant energy, really hold on to a commitment. This is a card of Taurus, but it's also about higher education, higher learning. It's, this is the Ascended Master. It's a connection with the Divine. Ten of Pentacles. So some sort of contract document, both these cards, contract document, two sides of the same goddess. Okay? Because both Venus, because both Libra and Taurus are ruled by the planet Venus. Ten of Pentacles there in your present moment. Trying to level up in some way. Trying to get that balance and hold on so you can level up to this Ten of Pentacles, which is a good, it's usually about, you know, money and work and public face and, you know, not private. Ten of Cups is friends and family. This is who you are when you're around large groups of people, but potentially, you know, associates or, or if you're in any work groups, things of that nature. Pis Pisces energy there, Cancer energy there with the High Priestess. That's about using one's intuition. About something that you find out, Page of Swords. 
Cancer uh, and Pisces energy there again with that moon. Somebody's in the dark. It's really more Pisces energy. Somebody's in the dark. They don't know what to feel. They don't know what to think. They're overwhelmed by their emotions. Look, people, she's like literally under the water. It reminds me of that Katie Tunstall song, uh, Under the Weather. That's like the energy you guys are in. And it seems like you guys are marrying each other here because Five of Cups, they're all up in their emotions and they're confused. They're in the dark. They, they don't know what to do. They're in their feels. And you're in your feels too, Five of Cups. Both of you said, Ace of Wands is in the balance. That's what brings the balance between you. So something sparks here. Some new opportunity shows itself and that allows the two of you to alter in some fashion. Knight of Pentacles there. That's your energy. You're just very slowly moving towards something. Why? Because there's resistance here. There's a need to defend your position against all these other people. But see how she is like zero Fs to give. If you don't like it, too bad. In kind of very true Leo form. Four of Cups. That's a nope card energy. That is a, no, -uh, I don't think so. Scorpio energy there with the death card. Feels like it's an ending, not a renewal, like you're walking away, because these are nope energies here. Let's get you some clarification. What's this justice card about in Libra's past? They're feeling left out in the cold, or you were feeling left out in the cold and you wanted balance. What's this justice card about in Libra's past? Yeah, there was an argument. What's this justice card about in Libra's past? It's Leo's past. It's a Libra card. What is this justice card about in Leo's past? Okay. That's Taurus energy and Libra energy there with the Empress. So it is a Libra or a Taurus that you're dealing with there. Uh, some new beginning for, you know, this is also a card of mothers. It could be your mother, mother of your children, things of that nature. There's some sort of conflict here between you and this person. It's like Five of Pentacles energy. They feel left out in the cold, Five of Wands, because of an argument over some new start. Ace of Wands there. So people, he, they're they're feeling hurt. They're feeling hurt. What's this four of pentacles? You might be blocking or ghosting this person. What's this four of pentacles? Stability. That's the house represents stability. What's this four of pentacles? What's this four of pentacles? What's this four of pentacles? There is confusion and sadness here for you specifically because this is the same card. There is confusion and sadness here. In a house, a home, a family unit, uh, a stability of some kind. Um, high priestess energy there. You're in this here and here. So this is Pisces, Cancer energy again. But you don't have to be interacting with that sign. You could just need to be you, you need needed to use your intuition about what was really going on here. Because it feels like somebody wasn't being honest in their expression. What's this Hierophant card? So lovers. Somebody in a relationship, a committed relationship. It's Gemini energy there with the lovers. What's this Hierophant card? What's this Hierophant card? What's this Hierophant card? What's this Hierophant card? Ace of Cups. So some sort of offer. Somebody was trying to manifest that Magician card. It's a Virgo and um, Gemini energy, Taurus energy there. Somebody was, and again, Gemini energy here. Somebody was trying to manifest a relationship here. A happy relationship, an offer for some sort of commitment, some sort of higher commitment. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Family room. Okay, so something that affects both public and personal life. What's this Ten of Pentacles? 
What's this Ten of Pentacles? Okay. Trying to juggle something. Being in this nightmare energy about either an ending or um, travel or bringing something to a completion. I mean, this could totally indicate a divorce that affects your pub private life and your personal life. Like your public and your, like your work and home. Or it just being whatever this is, this travel, this nightmare, whatever it is, it's very public. It's not being kept private. And that could be a nightmare for you. But something about travel of some kind being very public. What's this high priestess? What's this high priestess? Wealthy man. What's this high priestess? That could be a boss. What's this high priestess? So some sort of argument. Again with the four of pentacles, the holding on. Could be a uh, Scorpio you're interacting with. Could be, well, it could be a water sign, essentially, because it could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Definitely some sort of trying to hold on to some sort of commitment, having some sort of argument here, possibly with a boss, maybe with a judge, maybe with a lawyer, somebody you consider wealthy. Could be with your partner if you feel like your partner falls into the category of wealthy man. Or if you feel like you're a wealthy man, then that could be you. Some sort of argument coming in about trying to hold on to a commitment that brings uh, something to an end. What's this Page of Swords? It's Libra energy then. What's this Page of Swords? You find out something. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Swords. What's this Page of Swords? The universe is funny. Could be two children involved. There's some sort of inequity going on. There was a, an attempt at patience. But you found out something. Could be through the courts. Could be through documents, contracts. But something with proof. It's like getting a justice card. You were waiting for patience. You were watching for patience. You were trying to be, like for balance. So you were trying to be patient. But there's still an unequal give and take here. And you see it. And it could be with a Libra. But it could also just involve balance or the justice system in some way. A court case or something. What's the moon card? Mature man. Okay. What's the moon card? Scorpio energy there with the judgment. What's the moon card? What's the moon card? It's Leo energy there with the strength card so they're going to communicate with you this person is going to reach out page of wands to talk to you about a choice that they've made this could be a father figure it could be a boss somebody you would consider an authority just they were confused about something before but now they've made a choice they're no longer confused and they're going to come talk to you what's this five of cups Adjudication. They're going to come talk to you about that choice. That's Scorpio energy. What's this Five of Cups? Cancer energy there with the Chariot. Emperor energy is Aries. What's this Five of Cups? Knight of Wands. Any fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I mean, the Sagittarius. Also card of Scorpio. Feels like this Emperor card and this Mature Man are like the same person here. Okay, so it is this communication with this person. This is who's talking to you. And they are going to talk to you about a choice they made. And it could be about travel. Could be about a vehicle. Could just be about moving forward. Having some sort of forward motion. And, you know, wanting... Wanting to move quickly about something. And it makes you sad, whatever this is. They moved very quickly. What's this Ace of Wands? Okay. It's a 
thoughts about this new start? What's this Ace of Wands? It's been something you're thinking about. What's this Ace of Wands? What's this Ace of Wands? What's this Ace of Wands? Yeah. Okay. So, Gemini energy there with the lovers. Five of Pentacles. So there's this feeling left out in the cold. And thinking about this fresh start within this relationship and wanting to move into calmer waters. So some sort of opportunity after this decision, after this feeling of sadness, like after that closure, a new opportunity is going to present itself for you to move into calmer waters. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Mm. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Don't be lying to people. And also watch out for snitches and thieves. What's this... Knight of Pentacles. Hangman, you need to get a bigger perspective on this reunion. Pisces energy there with the hangman. This is somebody you already know. Could be an ex. Could be an age difference, a height difference. This is a soulmate, somebody you've, you've known many times before, whether it's in this life or not. But some sort of reconciliation because somebody is not being honest. That thief card drop in there. It might be you. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. Flip it if it's flip it and switch it if it's somebody else. Just get a higher perspective because somebody, whether it's you or not, is not being honest. And I only say that because it's a you card with that Knight of Pentacles. What's this Seven of Wands? Cancer energy there with the change. This is like getting the chariot. You know, actually you got here it's in this pile. What's this Seven of Wands? It's you feeling like you got to defend yourself. What's this Seven of Wands? Because of an opportunity. What's this Seven of Wands? You might be defending yourself from a Libra or a Virgo. This is any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Heavy on the Libra. Also a card of Virgo. This is, uh, again, Libra energy. So it could be a marriage, could be a contract, could be a document. It's an opportunity. A change coming in that's an opportunity where you may need to make a head over heart decision. But you're going to have to defend taking this opportunity to some. What's this Four of Cups? Yeah. What's this Four of Cups? Or they're going to defend an opportunity to you. What's this Four of Cups? What's this Four of Cups? Mm -mm -mm. Capricorn energy there with the devil. It's also toxicity. There's a lot of burdens here. King of Cups, any water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Scorpio. Also a card of Libra. Somebody's going to sing no. And there's going to be sadness here. Whether that's you or it's someone else. Because somebody was looking to be able to set down some sort of burden. Some sort of toxicity. They're not interested in the sadness. They're not interested in the toxicity. And I feel like this is you saying, I'm not interested in this. I'm going to set down burdens. So whoever this person is for you, you're just telling them no. And they are not going to like it. What's this death card? I might work with this person. What's this death card? Queen of Cups, what's this death card? What's this death card? So there might be children involved. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Could be two, three kids involved in the situation. Doesn't have to be, though. Could be an apology coming in from a Scorpio or Queen of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Cancer, also a card of Gemini. Could be just an emotional offer coming in. But it's coming in, and it does have a practical offer attached to it. I think it's just you need to get a higher perspective. Caref choose carefully. Don't rush. Be like that Knight of Pentacles. Go slow. People who aren't being honest, if you go slow, they show themselves. The snakes always reveal themselves. They can't stand the slow. They need to feel confident that you bought their thing, and if you don't respond too fast, it says to them that you're doubting them. And then they get antsy. Somebody who's telling the truth, they don't care how long it takes you to make a decision. Leo, June 13th through the 20th.
Leo, June 13th to the 20th. Leo, June 13th to the 20th. Leo, June 13th to the 20th. Okay. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Somebody feels left out in the cold. You got that several times over. Knight of Wands. Any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Sagittarius. Also a card of Scorpio. Sit right there in your energy. You're walking away. Eight of, eight of Cups. Somebody feels left out in the cold because you're walking away. You feel like something is wrong here because it is. And your instincts are on point. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to do it because this is the deck that does it. Okay, I'm going to pull three cards. This is your moment to pause the video because you need one to three questions if you want to do this. And I don't care if you choose one to three questions. Choose no questions for all that matters to me. Message for Leo. Not the right time, that's a no. Message for Leo. If you believe, that's a yes. Message for Leo. Improving health. That's also a yes. Advice for Leo. June 13th through the 20th. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Advice for Leo. October 13th through the 20th. Don't let your past hold you back. South Node. Wow, look at that. Right next to each other. I've never had that happen before. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. Huh. All right. Advice for Leo. June 13th through the 20th. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. So this is your confirmation that the universe is out there throwing hands. Which you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your pride hold you back. Full moon in Leo. Look at that right there. Same kind of energy. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Sure they are because the universe is out there throwing hands. People don't like it when karma comes from them. They just get like it, especially if they're acting karmic. They will get crazy. They will act like crazy people. Message for Leo. Uplifting fairies. We fairies love to lighten up your life. When your heart is sinking, we come and show you the hidden delights that dwell from the weight. Or dwell far from the weight of the human, your human world. Oh, the, the fairies want to uplift you. They want to bring you light and joy, Leo. That is beautiful energy. Well, I hope that helps, Leo, because this is what I have for you. <laughs> and as you go about the world this week, just remember, you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.